Hi, Sirius Chris here, back with another Enter and Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video, episode 211, and it's really been a long time since last episode, like, multiple weeks, and you can see him back up to E70, Bosonic Antimatter, there's one thing that is significant I can do, which is another light empowerment, 86 ultraviolet light, so, um, yeah, I become a ghost when I do that, so, um, yeah, you can see, um, yeah, he won 143 rewards, um, this amount of spins, and um, if, you, if you look here to the Ghost Particles, I can get over E2500 of them. So, I'll get that and then get the Light Empowerment. So, yeah, Ghostly Photons is being reset for possibly the last time because this requires 94 Ultraviolet Light. Which is kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just getting a bunch of rewards at this point, going in and out of Big Rip. Bosonic Lab right now. I'm just trying to get more W plus and W minus bosons, or not W minus bosons, but y you know what I mean. And so I can get you know more Bosonic Antimatter because this really isn't good. E71 is not great. I mean, of course I could use Reload Exploits. Like um, this. After I save, I just, yeah, more antimatter. I guess I can get this. Not really. Doesn't really do anything. I guess I can just go back into this. I should be able to get uh, not quite 143 rewards, but that's fine. But I think more importantly, I'm getting 20 radioactive decays, and hopefully that's enough to at least. I know my record is E786 quadrillion antimatter. Um, uh, no, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get more, oh, more, I'm up to E777 quadrillion. This will make it there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And, um, yeah, probably just want, I, mean, I could try to do the save exploit one more time. Um, no, not, not really. I mean, I, I could keep trying, but I think I want to just get a little bit farther here. Just get the 143rd reward. Yeah, I know I can get that. And then if I can get up to, I was at, I was at E737 spins. So if I can get back up there, that, yeah, it looks pretty good. The light empowerment's barely doing anything at this point, which is kind of, I could actually try to crunch and see if that does anything. Because I, I, I know that, Crunching or going eternal or something like that could actually have a positive effect, like the like this basically a crunch exploit or the eternity exploit, but it doesn't really seem to have all that much of an effect. I could use the reload exploit a little bit, but I'm not really gonna break my record antimatter, which is weird because I have E78 bosonic antimatter. I should be able to get there fast, but no. And I, there's really not much I can do other than keep waiting, keep grinding the Balsonic Antimatter. I'm not exactly sure how far I want to get the Balsonic Antimatter. I probably want to get, I don't know, in into the 80s at least. I'll, I'll get to the, I'll get to a point where if it starts getting really hard to get more Balsonic Antimatter, I will Higgs reset. So. Yeah, that's the state of progression now. See it in a few weeks. Okay, I'm back probably weeks later, and you can see where I am. E80 Bosonic Antimatter, which means that if I didn't automatically get this upgrade, um, I, I I would get it now. And you can see there's not really... You can see the W Z bosons, E91 Z bosons, E63 W plus bosons. I can get a couple of these, and... This to boost that by like double, but I think it's slow enough at this point that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the electron exploit yet. Um, I'm gonna go for achievements because I think the new game plus 3.1 update added like rewards to these achievements. So that's what I will do. Um, I let's see. I I want what what do I even need to do? I mean, so this involves becoming a ghost. I did like grind and. In big rip for like hours, so I kind of don't want to become a ghost right now. Um, this just says complete pair challenge one after getting 
Um, that amount of expander and Gorham Challenge is six and eight. I think I don't know. This may require a ghost of eye, but um, it says it only makes you lose twenty five percent of radiance to decays. Could be a nice reward, but honestly, maybe it's not the most crucial reward at this point. Maybe this is a better one. Become a ghost with at least um, this amount of eternity points while big ripped with the anti dilation modifier on. So this means I just go into challenges, quantum challenges. Turn on anti dilation. Probably just go into big rip here, and I just need to have enough eternity points. That's yeah, that's probably enough. So just do this, and there is the achievement. So this just gives me it says remove the second nano field reward scaling, which probably means hopefully something good. Um, this one requires paired challenges ranking. I will do that in a later episode. Like that, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save that for a whole other episode. Um, this just says e forty thousand quarks. I'm like at E33,000, so no, we're not there. This is also para challenge ranking, and this is E quintillion antimatter. So, okay, I guess I will try to do this. Get complete para challenge one after getting that amount of antimatter in quantum challenges six and eight, which means I probably have to, um, you know, I, I I guess I can just do you know the usual big rip stuff and like it, this reward see, it says the scaling is is less so. Yay, I guess. Um, really not all that much <laughs> into it. And okay, let, let, let's let's see. Um, quantum challenges. Um, turn off anti dilation, but I have to respec <laughs> and go um, assign assign six, eight, big rip, and then okay, then what? Um, I need to just get okay. Yeah, I have way more than that amount of antimatter, but I didn't get the achievement. Oh, maybe I, maybe I don't have to big. Maybe it's not big rip. Maybe instead of big ripping, I um, I go into this challenge and then do this. No. No, oh wait, maybe it's because I already have pair challenge one completed. That's why. I'm, that that has to be it. Okay, respec quantum. Do this six eight. Start. Do not go into big rip. Do this. Are you kidding me? How? I just completed that. Wait, no. Oh, it's one point six five billion, not one point two five billion. Okay, what about what was I even thinking? Okay, okay. Let's just, you know, I guess, uh, yeah, just do this. Um, six, eight, and um, I can't, I don't think I can really big rip. Is there anything else I can do? I guess there's like this. Um, I'm not even in the challenge though. What, what, what the heck? Start. Um, I guess I just wait because I'm kind of close right now. I don't see really another way I can do this. I mean, I can try crunching or eternitying, but I guess turning seems to help a little bit, so maybe I can go into automation and and just do some automatic eternities. Um, no? Okay. I, I think I just wait. I don't really see another way I can I can do this. Oh, I can probably go into nano fields. Duh. Boom. There we go. I've gotten this achievement and oh not that one. This one. So now maybe I can just get myself back up. Hopefully these couple of wait. I there's this one. Now I didn't even notice. This is reach. E22,500 affinity points while dilated and big rift with anti dilation modifier and without having studies, eternity point multiplier upgrades, tree upgrades, and break eternity within this ghost of iron. There's no reward, but we're gonna go for it anyway. First, however, we need to recover this. We just, I guess we can just choose any quantum challenges and it'll work. Um, so I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do these. And start because these quantum challenge rewards actually do seem to be really or do seem to be significant. So start, get that. Now we have gotten the full thing. I don't really know if 
if there's been any really significant reward here. We're just gonna go in and out of Big Rip. Hopefully get a good amount of antimatter. Okay, this is I guess pretty good. And then go back into Big Rip. Yada yada yada. Get this. Ooh, 144 rewards. That's the first time I've gotten 144. Um, have gotten over E308 Prion Energy though. I guess I can Ghostify, but I don't think it's really gonna do all that much. I do want to, okay, I do have the 20th ready guys, it's okay. So I guess I can just go back out and then try to, you know, go for the last achievement. Here, it's not the last achievement, but you, you know what I mean. Last achievement this episode. So, okay, what I need to do is I first need to um, go here, anti-dilation, then, um, wait, there's probably some other stuff. Um, without having studies, Eternity Point Multiplier upgrades, tree upgrades, and break Eternity within this Ghost of... Okay, I need to Ghostify first. Okay, well, if, if that's the case, um, we're first going to just, you know... Disable this so I can, you know, actually ghostify and get actually decent stuff. I mean, this isn't really all that good, but we're doing it anyway for the achievement. So, wait, I probably need to ghostify again because I, I need to do... It's within this ghostify, which is kind of crazy. So this means what, it, what I should do is I need to set it up now. Um, so, okay, I... If it's, if it's saying... If it's saying everything within this ghostify... Um, yeah, we need to, first of all, we need to reset, um, well, right now I have every time study, so that shouldn't really be a problem. Um, I just need to get into the right tab. I guess I can just export my tree because, yeah, we're going to respect both of these. We're going to go eternal. Now we will go turn the upgrades, turn this off. Then it says, um, I can't have any tree upgrades so I need to turn that off which probably is automator ghosts I probably just do this and then it even says and break eternity which I need which means I need to when I go here I need to fix eternity <laughs> I haven't done that in like so long yeah fix eternity <laughs> okay I think I'm ready I have um, do not have any studies, don't have any Eternity Bolt Multiplier upgrades, I don't have any tree upgrades, and, um, Eternity is fixed right now, so, um, yeah, let's, let's do this. I'm actually getting surprisingly far, considering I don't even have any, I don't have any tree up. yep, I don't have any of this, I still have the branch upgrades, but not the tree upgrades. I mean, it's actually surprising how far I'm getting. I don't have any studies, or at least I don't think I do. I don't have any studies. I am actually. It didn't reset mastery studies. Okay, okay. There. I'm like. There's no way I can. It, it's giving me them automatically. What? Oh, this is not cool. And of course, now I can't even ghostify. <laughs> I guess I have to do something and then fix a turn. That, that's what I'm going to do. And please, I'll even export my save because I don't want it to be automatically giving me the studies because I don't need that. Maybe it's an automator ghost. I mean, actually, it could be an automator ghost. Let's see. if it's. Um, no, no. I guess maybe I also want to disable this because this is also an eternity point multiplier. So, yeah. Okay, now export again. Please, just don't, don't. Auto oh my god, why? Is are you trying to make this achievement impossible game? That that's what it seems like it's trying to do. Okay, what I'm just gonna try to do is just go suffice and then immediately try to disable um the studies because I, I do not get why this is happening. So just do this. I have the mastery studies, but then just you know, disable this, and then I can I can go into challenges, put anti dilation on, and then I need to go into big rip and dilate myself. Um, and 
then do something? I'm hoping. Um, ah, uh, no. It's probably just because I do somehow have the studies. Has to be this. Like, I don't have it here, but I don't know what I'm missing. I actually, I think I do know what I'm missing, but I can't even fix this. This is so not cool how it's automatically doing. This is a bug. There is no way this is actually intended behavior by the game. Because if it was intended behavior, I don't know. But you can see, even while dilated, I can reach far more. It's probably just because, you know, I have the mastery studies. But there's no other way. The game is bugged. So I guess I'm going to cheat this achievement because... I mean, it's pretty obvious, even without these studies. Like, you, you can see, when I, when I go here, I unfortunately do have to get these mastery studies. But then when I respect them, um, I'm still getting actually quite a lot of antimatter. And, okay, maybe if I just respect everything. And then go into Big Rip. And, like, I don't have it my, any of the studies right now. I mean, maybe some stuff like, you know, replicants are boosted, but, and then I go into dilation, and then get this. It's far more than the amount of infinity points it's asking for. And everything else is correct. Um, eternity is fixed. I don't have any eternity point multipliers on me. I mean, I guess there's these upgrades, but... That also automatically I don't know maybe that maybe that's an automator ghost actually that maybe I can disable it has to be one of these right um, I, I, there's this but that I really do not see a way for this to like for me to actually get the achievement if it's gonna auto give me mastery studies and not only that, the achievement doesn't even have a reward, so let's just do it. Okay, there we go. I know I'm a little bit dirty, but I don't think there is any other way to do it. I did everything I could, and I just... It just didn't quite work because of a bug that I couldn't do anything about. So... Yeah, next episode, I'm going to focus on paired challenges. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.